Hi everyone. Let's take a look at the following integration by parts example. Find the antiderivative of x times sine x with respect to x. Step number one, use a technique called the integration by parts, which means you can let u equal to x. This implies du by dx is going to be one, or you can think of du equal to dx. Now, on the other hand, if we think about dv by dx, this is going to be sine x, which means when you find the antiderivative v, that's going to be negative cosine x. So you can express the antiderivative of x times sine x with respect to x in terms of uv, which is basically negative x cosine x minus the antiderivative of v du. So in this case, it's going to be negative cosine x dx. Now let's separate this. Let's draw a line here, just like that. So now this equals to negative x cosine x. And when you find the antiderivative of cosine x, that's going to give you sine x. And of course, negative times negative is positive. So this equals to plus sine x, let's write this better for you, plus sine x. Don't forget a constant c because there are infinite many cases. Now to double check, all you have to do is spend one extra minute, find the derivative of negative x cosine x plus sine x plus c, and you will get x sine x back. I hope this makes sense.